do something different. Everybody out there is just doing the same thing that he's doing. Do you think they're running at that bull cow calling? No. no. They're not. And not only that, they're just standing back there like, man, I wish he'd come in. That's so cool. He's bugling, you know? And it's really, he's asking stuff of you. Yeah. Or he's telling you to stay back. Mm -hmm. You bugle and he gives a whole nother response, right? Well, he's telling you, hey, don't come anywhere near me. I don't care about you or your cow. Yeah. No matter what she says to him, he's got his own thing going on there. And he's telling you to stay out of my room, dude. I'm busy. Mm -hmm. Right? Because he just, <sighs> I'm tired because I've been up fighting all night. Couldn't get none. I'm, you know, pissed off. I'm going to bed. I'm done. Well, that's a completely different situation than if somebody's screaming at you, you know, stay out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go ahead. Come on. It's been a long night. Get up here, girl. They're going up the mountain. You heard him bugle. What are you going to do? You're going to scream bloody murder? Dude, at just him? blast him. <laughs> hey guys, I'm, I'm coming too, right? I hate chasing out in the morning, first of all. I'm going to say that right now. Y'all can all get up as early as you want to. They're going to be right over there in the same spots that you've been working them all morning anyway. If he keeps making noise, he's got cows. He's saying, hey, here I am. Come on, come on. The cows are eating and doing all their crap or whatever, right? So once you know you've got them there in their spot, now you're going to have to convince him that you and your girlfriend are about to have something going on, right? But you can't, you don't just jump right into the game, right? You gotta talk her into it, right? And this has nothing to do with that bull that you've been here in Bugle at all. It has nothing to do with him. It's you and your cow. That's it. Here's your setup, callers. I'm going with this that other bull is not gonna be able to stand it right he's gonna have to chirp in because he knows what's going on right here This is gonna take like an hour, y'all. Just to get him convinced to come in and give your dude a shot. Maybe 30 minutes would be a rapid, rapid call in. trying to sell my soul to the devil whenever I'm talking to that bull. I believe 100% that I'm calling him in, no doubt. If, are y'all doing any of that? Uh, like, yeah, like so, that? Like, like that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, no. 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 <laughs> Did I rake a tree? Yes. <laughs>
gets pretty hot here. Um, but let's uh, see if we can locate some and, and we'll go from there. Feeling good about today? My legs hurt, but yeah, feeling uh, yeah, I'm feeling I, good. Today could be the day. Got some decent rain last night. And got rain. A little bit of cloud cover. So got rained on driving in, so should stay cool today. Walking wet. Hopefully, we'll get them active. So, on our way to our glassing spot that we were going to sit this morning, pretty much like 100 yards west of where we were going to sit when we were on our way, a bull started bugling coming up over the hill. And then we caught a glimpse of me. We got to his herd of about 120 yards. Nice, nice big bull. Big split on the right side. And uh, he's got probably 10 cows at least with him and then another two or three satellite bulls hanging around. So, a lot of eyeballs. A lot of eyeballs. But it seems like we know we've got to beat on where they're going to bed. So.
softened everything up, we can actually work a little bit better in it. spook them right out of their bed. You know where they're going. Like, that knowledge is huge. We're, done, we're saying the same thing, just 40 yards apart. Yeah, no, I know, that's what I'm saying. Our disagreement is which way to go. Yeah, I'd rather be in a couple more thicker trees than... Yeah. Oh. So, I mean, we could 50 yards that way and then start working over the same direction we're both saying. Uh, yep, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it. What am I hearing? Look at the bull hanging up behind him. Yeah, he's standing there watching us. These idiots. I can do 
be up than anymore. All night last night, I'd be like, fall asleep, fall asleep. It's like, underwear and boots. And then I snuck off to the port of john I ran it, I tripped over the Wyoming guy, the other Wyoming guy's tent like three times. Oh, just cause I was like, oh, I'm trying to get there. So they're probably like, in the hell is up with this in the third tent? Six times last night. Casty started a sequence, ended up calling in two guys with some really bad bugling. Not on our part, on their part. So, you gonna go sit on a water hole now? Yeah, go look at some new areas. It's full of water? It's a pretty cold place here. Holy shiz! Oh my gosh! No way! So it's All just, other three teams killed this so morning. It's just no gone. way! <laughs> it's just you guys. <laughs> is that what it says? All three? Said, like, how is it looking where you guys are at? I was like, good, almost got done this morning. Is your team staying hydrated? I was like, yeah, these guys freaking know what they're doing. Dude, you won't believe this. All this, all the other three teams killed this morning. <laughs> Boom! Who's sex at? That's, Troy? no, that's from Eric. I don't have him in my freaking phone yet. No is shit. he screwed with us? Maybe. That would be that's pretty impressive if it was all three. That's, that's no, pretty dude. crazy. No, uh, dude. I texted all this to myself. This oh, is oh, such this a is fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I hope you're like fucking walking through like, walking. You know, that, that's like pretty unbelievable, but I mean, it's happened before in our camps. for it. <laughs> I, was oh, like, I was like, how in the hell did they all do? <laughs> it's going to be terrible going back to camp. Every night, those guys are like, how are you doing? <laughs> well, not as good as you guys. <laughs> I mean, I hope they kill. Not all three in one day. You should let it go. We would have been like, oh, guys. <laughs> like you, without hearing something, I don't really want to dive off the end of that. So we'll walk to the end of it. So I guess my next question is, we didn't hear anything. They're already in their beds. Why don't we either A, go get e-bikes and cruise down this and we can hunt a shitload more or B, go to the windmill area. Because again, everything's bedded. We've heard nothing here. So we're throwing darts at the board here. We're also sitting at the very top. Everything's down. It ain't moving anymore. Yeah, so we just gotta get to speak it. Right. So do we go get e-bikes so we can do all this way faster? Yeah. It'll take 20 minutes to camp and back probably. And I bet you we could cover all this and we're just looking at time. Yeah. I bet if you just did a math to math on time for the e-bikes, I bet we could cover all this way faster. Way, way faster. No doubt about that. So, that's your call. No doubt about that. I just want to go around to the end here. Okay. And look over off the end, over toward those fields. And we'll see what we see. See if we hear anything. If not, then yeah, we'll start making our way. Thanks, dude. <laughs> We're also gonna put some turkeys, too. I think Jason's been behind the reeds too long. Oh, I feel like my mouth is raw. Circles, Jason. He's like we're trying to learn 
how to tie a shoe. They want to fall over the place. Look, it looks like a bow. <laughs> like a little jacked up bow. <laughs> Terrible. I make the decision we either go or we don't. Alright. You know, I was literally like spitting him with it, like there was another that I was like, oh where'd that come from? There was definitely another from this morning, for sure. Oh yeah. waste and uh, some axe body spray to make sure we smell good for the elk so whether or not we kill an elk tonight I'm gonna walk into that kitchen table tonight when everyone's eating dinner and throw a hoof right in the middle of the table and see what everybody does oh, they talked out no I just found a hoof in the woods <laughs> after everybody freaks it's gonna be great <laughs>
I'm not going back to camp until I kill them. I literally almost passed out. What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? I was like, I heard nothing. And they said, like, straight cow call. Everybody, Britt, um, gotta break some news to you. Oh my gosh! You guys killed? Are you kidding me? There you go. Are you kidding me? You guys are out of night out. Oh my gosh! Really? No, we got it off the side of the room. Oh, you guys are so good! You're not a big fan of me! That's it! I am the only one that breaks people right now. Obviously not, dude. I could not see what you do on the file. Well, we uh, decided to wake up at 3 a.m. this morning. Uh, we had a slow day yesterday. And we're just trying to locate a, a bull right off the bat so we can get in on him. Who knows if he'll still be talking, but at least when we're hiking, we know we have the possibility that there's a bull in the area. Um, just trying to play the full moon. Yeah. We just heard a bugle. <laughs> we're stoked about that. Sounds like we need right up in here. Yeah, we didn't push him, nothing, he was doing it all on his own, and he did, he chuckled twice in the last 30 seconds. Yep, oh. right there's a growl. Oh yeah, he's, he's worked out. Well, he goes again. Max on and get geared up. He just went again, too. There might be multiple. Yeah, let's get our packs on him, okay. So, the fence we thought was private is not. We were actually following this drainage up. I thought it was at a weird angle. So we hopped the fence. We got quite a ways this direction that we can go. So, we're going to head up in here. It's looking like we're good to go. What's that? On X for the win. On X for the win. Thank God. I was, because we got bulls probably, what, 500 yards above us bugling. We didn't think there's any way we'd call them in. It turns out we... We can get up close to him. Why do the pains have to be in the morning, not in just the evening? <laughs>
on elk. It was definitely a log. Confirmed. But we heard a bugle in that same direction, so we're right here on the edge of where we did see a cow yesterday or a couple days ago. And uh, he's been chuckling a little bit in there, so Brent's making his move with some uh, calls, and hopefully we can pull him out of this drainage a little bit and get him on top. And if he comes on top, we should have a shot. We have the herd pull down here, and we have two satellite bulls right in front of us, like 120 yards, probably. Really? Yeah. No. But they came down, they were in the bottom of the drainage, they walked up really slow, and then they turned back around, and they're right over there. So, why don't we get down into the garbage here, then you get your head poked up, I'll go down farther, down the drainage, and poke up, and see if they'll come to the edge. Because they're responding to cow calls right now. So if we reintroduce a bunch right. of baking and stuff right next to them, I'm afraid it's just going to push them away. Well, if we can get in the bubble, that's exactly what we need. Right. And, but we got to be in that bubble first. Right. We're not in the bubble. That we're aware of. I don't think he's that far down this drainage. He's the bottom. If we took, if we went up that saddle, we can go up this and then circle around. He, he wasn't too interested in what we were doing, noise-wise. He was interested in the bugle. Really? Um, I think he was a nice satellite. Yeah. Nice satellite. Um, mm -hmm. He started working his way that way and up and over. I think if we go quiet and see if we can get eyes on him again, okay. um, and then maybe just treat him with some bugles. Step back and broke some branches and on accident. And I didn't think he was gonna keep 
coming in because he stopped pretty quick. And so then I cow called and drew. They're still sounding off, so we're gonna try. There's three of our bulls in here, so. Gotta brush that one off. Biggest bull I've ever seen in my life, though. Did you see him? Never. I haven't seen a bull this, I haven't seen an elk this year. Yeah. <laughs> That was still crazy though. He's screaming at me. And I'm wait, to... wait till you see him. Wait, am I gonna throw up? Yes, I'm about ready to throw up myself. Oh boy! All right. I'll remember that for the rest of my life if we don't get back on him. <laughs> <laughs> How big they were! He was. A, he would have won the show. He had to have won the show. Yeah, no doubt. Biggest bull I've ever seen. That close, that's for sure. It's not on a national park. <laughs> well, this is where he was standing. I shot low, he was about 10 yards further, maybe 15 yards further than, than where, I, where I had him, so um, shot low, live and learn. Definitely heart was beating faster than it's ever beat in my life. We'll get one. All right. When you're looking for my arrow, we heard a chuckle that was pretty darn close. It sounded like an old horse. Here he comes. So, we'll give you an update in a minute. He's right up here. And my first animal with a freaking bow. Thank you, Elf Bros. Thank you, Arnold. Oh my god. Oh. I just missed the biggest bowl of my life. And not even 20 minutes later, I shoot the biggest bowl of my life. Don't give up, guys. Don't give up.